Good day everyone. We're going to try and make some new batteries today. Let's have a look at this. We've got a battery over here. This one is still very, very good. I can show you that. Here's my multimeter. Switch it on. And there we go, 6.26 volts. So this battery is still good. I've just taken the plastic wrapper off of it and inside this when they did you don't just throw them away they are very very useful inside here you've got four individual cells and inside these individual cells uh, you can extract this carbon rod now there's four of them in there obviously so there's one two three four and I've drilled a small hole in the top to take a wire. Now let's move that out of the way and bring in the multimeter again and we will have a quick look at one of these before we make one. Now the, this material, this silver material is magnesium ribbon and this is it over here and uh, the white that you see in between is just a piece of paper towel which is a piece of paper towel which I've cut a small piece out of for one of them so all we need to do is we measure the voltage and we can see this one is 1.4 volts and we measure this one and this is one I've just made and that's 1.563 volts now the reason why this one is giving me a higher voltage than that one is I've just wet this down a little bit let's have a quick look at the current in milliamps uh, firstly on the one that I've just made as you can see this is a dead short and it's climbing so we've got we've got significant uh, current flow there 4 milliamps and so on and so forth okay <clears throat> here's one of the carbon rods in there and what we're going to need to do is just wrap this up in a piece of paper towel uh, what we want to try and do is we want to make sure that the paper towel covers the entire rod end to end. Uh, to stick this down, to make it easier, we take a bit of paper tape. I've just got some blue uh, masking tape, uh, which is a paper tape. And we're just going to put that, three pieces of that on there, just so that we can uh, hold it tight to a certain degree uh, some of these pieces are rather large but that's okay uh, and we're just going to put that on there then we're going to roll this we're going to roll this up as tight as we possibly can and we're going to put another piece of paper tape over it just to hold it in place so there we go doesn't matter if it goes over it's fine so and like so okay there we've got our paper tape or paper wrapped around it with a bit of paper tape holding it now the magnesium it's relatively cheap on eBay I'm just gonna I don't want to cut the, the string because that's just gonna make a mess so we'll just unroll a piece of this and we can start rolling it out. Now I've also got a bit of insulation tape, black insulation tape, I've cut two pieces for this. That's going to make our lives a little bit easy uh, a little bit later on. Now when you roll this on, sorry this this camera of mine is just a standard webcam, it can't zoom, but when you roll this on you've got to try to keep them separate from each other so that they don't touch. As you can see there, that's not touching. So what we'll do is we'll put a piece of tape on that just to hold it in place and then we'll continue wrapping. And as soon as we get past that point where the tape comes together, we will wrap the tape all the way around to hold it nice and tight. There we go. Now we will keep wrapping this 
Just pulling it, whoops, pulling it nice and tight so that we don't get them touching each other. And there we go, we've actually got those touching, so we move them a little bit away. Um, and there we go. So we'll just keep doing that. And it's just the beginning that's normally a little bit difficult and the end actually. Let's just unwind that and we'll keep going. Now the trick is not to let the magnesium touch each other and also not to let the magnesium touch the, the carbon rod because if it does uh, you've got a dead short on your battery or you've got reduced current or, uh, so yep you don't want that to happen. So as far as possible we wrap this around without in touching anything, uh, spe specifically the, the carbon rod. You don't want it coming near that carbon rod. Almost there. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll put a piece of tape on that, wrap it back and just keep wrapping it and then put the tape on at the same time and there we go so what we'll do now is we'll just cut a piece of this off and in theory we're almost ready now we're going to need a piece of wire I've just got some of this solid core grade wire cut a small piece off we will strip a piece at uh, end off of this. And we will strip an end off the other side. And you might wonder why I'm making it such a long end. Because that hole's slightly large. Uh, if you use a thicker copper wire, you don't need to do this. But I'm just bending it over, giving it a slight nick and bending that over again. In theory, that should create quite a nice tight fit. Well, that will give us a reasonable connection anyway. All right, so let's get the multimeter out again. And let's move this out of the way. I'm sure you can see that. And we will just measure this. Now this is one we've just made. No water, no nothing. Oops, sorry. Let's go do that. And let's see the voltage first of all. There's one volt dry and it's dropping. Not very good. So what we'll do is, I've just got a little bit of water here. Uh, I'll tear a piece of the paper towel off. Just to wet that. That's more than enough. I'm just going to give this a slight wetting, so it's not even wet, wet, it's just damp, if you will. And in theory now, that should give me a greater voltage. And let's see if that's true. Look at that. 1.7. Now that's just ordinary tap water. No salt, no nothing but it works. All right, let's do some current measurements on that. Dead short current on milliamps, and that's climbing. So we've made one already.